It is Roche Ball, you guys, and guess what I just did? I just did a little makeup tutorial, get ready with me, slash whatever, and I erased it because I figured who wants to sit through a get ready with me makeup tutorial that's for 20 minutes? Nobody, not a damn body. So, what I just did was, let me just show you what I did. I put this on my eyelid, okay, this is the infallible, can't even tell you what color it is because I had it for a couple years and all the makeup and all the words fade off from other makeup makeup marks and makeup bits that's been in it okay I have this on it's called um, kiss red right from my local beauty supply place and most of the stuff I got from my local beauty supply place called Wow beauty supply I put this on and this is hurting red like snow white red almost like Ruby Woo from Mac but not necessarily but this also stays on all day I mean kind of I mean but eventually it gets very hard so my opinion just put some chapstick on then put this on and kind of like make it glossy if you have a lip gloss or whatever I'm kind of running through this very quick I did put this on I don't know if you guys can see this flawless whatever this is called they have also something called pro I put this on I don't know if you guys can see that um, I blended in with these which needs to be cleaned I got this from another beauty supply place in Panorama City um, I put this on as well. This is Coco Dark number three, Mate Mousse, the dream. I put that on. Um, I instead of using this, I use this because I found some of this, so I don't, I don't need this. This can be for backup for hard times, whatever. Um, I also put this. Uh, what else I use? I use this for my eyeliner. I use this for my eyebrow, which this is the same as this. They're both eyeliners, but I I use the brown one for my eyebrows, and I use this for my eyeliner. As you guys can see, it's kind of a mess, but whatever. What else did I use? I used this cheap mascara that I got from, I think, the 99 cent store. No, I got this from my beauty supply place, too. No, no, it was from a, hold on. Sorry, I had to take a break. That was my sister. Let me tell y'all, let me let, let me let y'all know what I got on. This is what I got on. Daisy Dukes and this black tank top. So I'm sitting down right here. On the floor, my sister comes in to let me know this is how much time we have left before we go or whatever. I know that's what she was going to say. And I said, Tiny, what are you wearing? And she came over here in the corner of my room and just went. And I stood up and we're wearing the same thing. A long time ago in Long Beach, I had on a black tubeless, I mean it was a back strapless bra that I wore with something that I had off the shoulders or whatever. And had red underwear. I said, Tyler, what you got on? I said, you wear that under your clothes? And she did. And I stepped out of the room and had on the same thing. We always end up wearing the same thing. Always. So we're like, girl, we got to take pictures. Anyway, before I put on all this makeup, what I did was, oh, I forgot to put on my cream. I, I scrubbed my face really good with some apricot scrub that I got. St. Ives apricot scrub that I got from Walmart. Where was I? Um, I use this to apply my infallible. I can't tell you guys what kind of brush this is. I'm not a makeup guru, but I also got this brush from a little packet I got from the 99 cent store, and I just use that to put some of this on. I'm tired of my sister copying my outfits. And as you can see, I twist all my hair with Expressions hair, and I try to curl it at the bottom to make it look a, like a natural look. I did have huge dookie braids, but I decided to take it out because I don't want to wear that shit. Anyway, <laughs> I went to Bath, Burke's Body, did Bed and Beyond. You know what I'm talking about. And I found a new scent because I used to use Sweet Pea, but I stopped using that because a certain somebody gave me that scent. I don't want to wear that anymore because it reminds me of him. And I found Hello Beautiful that I've been using for a couple months now. I got this for free. No, no. It was buy these things and I get one thing for under $14 and it was this. So why not? And I have a little lotion bottle like this. It's a smaller one like this, but it's in my bag that I carry around everywhere. And so this is my new scent. Hello Beautiful. So if anybody out there want to get me something for Christmas, go to the White Barn, which is bath, bed, and bath, and body works, and beyond. And I just put a little of this on. That was supposed to go down here. Don't worry, I did wash my coochie. Where was I with the makeup thing? Because just to let you all know what I put on real quick. Because like I said, nobody wants to sit through a 20-minute get-ready-with-me makeup tutorial. Um, 
I didn't really use too much of this for my eyes, like under my eyes, I really should though when I think about it. And I use this mirror, what I need is a big vanity mirror. So if anybody out there want to send me a mirror, thanks. I'll be your best friend to the end. I'm talking about that mirror that is like regular on one side, you flip it over and it's like, like you can see your face real big, you can see your pretty much your pores. I like those mirrors. I'm just going to go under with this real quick. I don't know if this is, this might not be used for this, but yeah. You guys, it is so hard for me to drink coffee in the morning because I always feel like nauseated and it's a good boo-boo stimulator. Not trying to be, um, not trying to be TMI-ish, but it's, it's a good boo-boo thing. It helps you boo-boo. For those who can't or having trouble being stopped up, not that this is a health video, but drink some coffee, eat some raisin bran, eat an apple, prune juice, and be on your way. Which prune juice is not that bad when it's really cold. It's not. I can drink a glass of prune juice. Just throw you some ice cubes in there and throw you some up in a cup. And you're good to go. Alright, let me hurry up because I'm taking too long. Also for my whatever edges I have left, I use this. I don't like the Moroccan or, or oh no, yes I do. I don't like the the it's like a cocoa butter kind. This one with flaxseed. I don't like those because those don't get hard. And I use this, which is from my which needs to be clean. And I just kind of like did this real quick, and I just put a little around whatever edges I have left. Which I didn't really smooth it. I just put it around my edges. That's what I was supposed to do is smooth it. I'm using this camera as my mirror too. Get used to it. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful day, and we decided to go to Magic Mountain. That's why I'm putting all this makeup on. Okay, plus, you never know. You might meet your snow daddy. I might meet me a snow daddy out there. So I just kind of smooth it around like this, whatever edges I have left. Um, for my edges, I'm using black castor oil and sometimes well grow. And what I do is, say like I get home from work, right? When I wash my face in the shower, I rinse off my edges. And then I put the um, black castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil on it. And then... I do the same thing with this side, but then I always try to wrap my hair up, but every time I do, I'm looking at the hair, the silk wrap, and it's not even on my head, so it's like, what's the point? And then my pillowcase end up smelling like the greases that I use, like the Wild Grow and um, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. So, next you know, I have grease stains all on my pillowcase, and I have to change my pillowcases because I don't want my face to break down. And then I have to keep continuing to wash my pillow pad too, because sometimes I lay on my pillow pad. So yeah, I just kind of like lay down whatever edges I have left and just, you know, when my edges grow back, I am not braiding my edges. Edges are not supposed to be braided anyway, but I'm not braiding my edges. That's probably why I don't, that's why I don't have edges in the first place, but plus I did keep cutting them because I didn't like the way it felt when it got nappy. When the perm wore off, I just didn't like the way my hair felt around the edges. That's why I, I used to cut it. I never shaved it. I used to cut it. It was just kind of the same thing, but whatever, right? Anyway, you guys, that's been what I've been using. Sorry, I ran through everything real quick. Um, it's bleeping like this. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, you guys, I gotta go. Hey! Hey! Spider! S spider! Don't you pee on my bed. Spider! That's my nephew Spider. He is the biggest cat we have. He eats. His mouth goes like Pac-Man when he eats like this. Come here, Spider. Come here. Come here. Come here, Spider. Come here. Look how big he is, y'all. He's so big. You probably can't tell now, but he's so freaking big. Why is this powder stuff on your skin? Come here, Spider. Come here. He's trying to be the man of the house. It's like, look here, Mr. Cat, you're in our world, okay? So don't try to take charge. I think he wants to leave. And he shall do that. Come on, Spider. Come on, Lightly. Come on. You want to go? Come on. Come on, Spider. <sighs> this cat is being a real whore. And a junkie. Anyway, you guys, I don't want to be before you guys so long. Thank you so much for watching this little makeup show and tell thing that I used on my face to do my makeup get ready with me thing. I'm um, going to try to get Spider out of here and I'll see you guys later. Bye.